You gotta give me some arm room here. I need some arm room. You're here. putting that in a video. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and if this is your first time stopping by, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing a vegan box cake hack. So this is my second time doing this kind of video. I'll go ahead and link the other video down below. This is a test. So basically, we're gonna find out how this works together. I've never done it this way, so we're gonna test it out and I will give you guys the, the full scoop of how it tastes and all that good stuff. All right, so this recipe calls for one box cake mix. And whatever box cake mix you get, just make sure that the ingredients show that it is vegan friendly. It doesn't have, you know, egg, milk, um, gluten, any of that stuff. So I got this one here, classic white. And then you're also gonna need one cup of water and one cup of applesauce. I just have these little, um, kid snack size ones. It calls for unsweetened, but but this is what I have on hand, and no one ever died from too much sugar, said no doctor. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour it in to my favorite little mixing bowl here. <laughs> so then you can go ahead and pour the water in. Okay, you can, you can do something too, don't worry. All right, and Mia's gonna go ahead and pour the applesauce in. Make sure that it's all in there. Go ahead. Very good. I want cool. I want cool. Hold on, let's, let's let JJ mix a little bit. Go ahead, start mixing it up a little bit. Hold on, you have a turn too. You're next. You're next. All right, is that good? Yeah. All right. All right, can I mix a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. All right, so just make sure that you mix it. If you have little helpers, make sure that you mix it after they mix it. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and just pour some into a pan. I'm using two pans. This one here is uh, a little smaller than the other one that I'm using, but it doesn't matter because I just like, I could just cut it to size. Oh, you know what? For some reason, I thought that this would be a two cake pan type of deal, but I guess it all fits into one. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just getting out some of the air bubbles. And next we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven and see what happens when it comes out. Okay, stay tuned for the next part of our video. Alright guys, so Jaden wanted me to show you his little artwork that he did for you guys to see. Let's go ahead and see what this turned out like. So anyways, so... Uh, I took it out and the cleanest the toothpick comes out comes out is like just like slightly sticky I would say and I'm gonna try to plop this onto this um, plate. I'm horrible at baking you guys that's why uh, I barely ever bake. Oh here we go. Yay! Alright guys so this is what it looks like. It feels firm. It feels good. It's still pretty warm, so I don't want to put any icing on it yet, but we are going to decorate it. I'm possibly going to cut it in half, maybe decorate the center, but I'm not sure because it's still a little soft, so we'll see if it gets any firmer. All right, guys, so right now I'm going to show you two things. All right, so it's been hours since I started this mission, basically. So this right here is the cake that I showed you, uh, the first one that I tried out, but I didn't want to let it go. I wanted to make sure... I wanted to see how it went once I cut it because it felt soft, but the toothpick was just a little moist, so I was kind of like, oh, you know, I think it's okay. Again, I'm not a great baker. So this is what that looks like. So it's basically just like really sticky and doughy and just no good. So I, I, what I think is that I maybe left it for too little bit of a time or put the temperature too low, but I followed the directions. But anyways, all right, so... I put in another one, and this one I waited till it was like almost completely, completely dry because I didn't want to leave it any longer because it was just gonna, it looked like it was gonna burn um, if I left it way too long. But the edges are super nice and dry, and the center is just like a tiny, tiny bit um, more moist than the edges are. Um, but it's a lot darker than this one was, uh, was, and I'm gonna let this cool down and see what happens. So stay tuned. I don't really like chocolate, and then to top it off, 
I'm not a fan of like really sweet stuff. So maybe that just makes it like way worse. But anyways, let me finish frosting this. And then there you go. We're gonna go ahead and just keep it on the top. Yeah. We're gonna sprinkle some uh, sprinkles. <laughs> We're gonna sprinkle some sprinkles. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and cut into it and see what this tastes like. Alright, so it's a little uh it's a little uh you know what? I cut it in the part that was a little um broken. Oh my god, pizza! It's not pizza. <laughs> oh my god, pizza. <laughs> Alright guys, so all in all, this cake was too doughy and just moist and it didn't even hold the frosting right and it just kind of like falls apart and I've tried it twice so I, I, it's like too hard on the outside when you try to cook it longer and make it uh, more dry and it's just this applesauce water thing just it's just no alright so this hack no go alright so but the other hack I'll have a link down below that one was way better than this one so you can check that out but yeah I'm gonna toss this out and work on something else. These are two other videos that I think you guys might like. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.